we're up here in Placerville, California, which is up in the foothills, little gold rush town up here. Had somebody reach out to me with a failed shower. He said it was a Schluter shower, but he sent me some pictures of the drain from underneath, and it doesn't doesn't look like a, it's not a Schluter drain. So I have no idea what to expect here, but he's got a failing shower. So let's go check it out. How you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm Bruce. Bruce Isaac. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. A nice home. You got some nice slate on the floor. Yeah, actually, my wife did all that. I did put the, all the slate down on this. So anyway, here's the shower in question. Uh, in fact, I just noticed something here. It's kind of interesting because I never did that before. You can see where these two pieces of tile are starting to tilt. Starting to sure. rise up. Rise yeah, up. that's probably from the, the two by fours in the curb. Gotcha. Swallowing up. up. So. But yeah, you get the. But it's uh, just just starting to scrape. Yeah. So it's one of those, you know. We did the pebble on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It leaks. We believe it leaks. It's leaking at the drain. We uh, we've drain. done some tests, yeah. and um, and then when you look underneath, you'll see it's kind of obvious. It's kind of tricky though too. You'll see <laughs> what do you see underneath? Okay, where they actually put the. So drain. You, um, you had mentioned it was a Schluter shower. I, or I'm about ninety nine percent sure that it's a Schluter shower. And how how old did how old is this shower here? This is twelve. Uh, everything's twelve years old. Twelve. So, okay. So, so yeah, Schluter was that. That's when that the big push of Schluter, the push of Schluter yeah, was, was so coming. So it's kind of the rage. All right. So um, yeah, the drain isn't Schluter. So that's that's why I asked. That's that's yeah. why I think we have a problem. So it's probably a mix. <laughs> it's a mix. They might have used Schluter membrane and then tried to tie it. Tie it in, in drain. which was fairly unsuccessful. Yeah. So um, yeah, can can we um, can we actually get the water running and go downstairs? Sure. Absolutely. So yeah, let's go downstairs. Right. Actually, go downstairs. Oh, right here. Actually, we gotta walk around. My bad. Okay, no problem. Forgot things. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's the Chinese place, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, so, all right. So this is it. This that's is it. it. And you got the kiddie pool. <laughs> this is the, the yeah. They stopped catcher. using the shower. Um, okay. And so, well, I gotta cut out oh, most of the ceiling mainly because you can see where the drain. The drain is on top of his okay. partially on top of this. And so then, so what they did was, and so what he did was he didn't even change the old drain, you know, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually, the water's going on top of the, um, this beam and just tracking. So it's tracking and tracking. Okay. But you don't see a real, I mean, it takes a while to get an actual, actual leak going. Leak going. Yeah, there was old the old cast iron pipe from the original, and then right, they, then and then they, they did a, a tie-in ABSP trap, and then went to the original, back to the original, which is kind of like I know why. Yeah. Well, it wasn't my plumber; that was actually what the tile, tile guy wanted. Tile guy wanted. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, because we asked him, we can put anything you want in, and that's what he said. Oh yeah, just do that. Yeah. So he so. so left the original cast iron drain, sawed off the cast iron pipe, used a fern co. Gotcha. Put in a new ABS, ABS pipe, pipe and tied back into the cast iron. It just seems really silly that he wouldn't have just went all ABS. Always, exactly. With a new drain. Yeah. But that, so, that might be the problem, but I'd like to see if we can get it to start leaking. And yeah, the, how, I, about I, how long I does it take? I have no idea. That's mm -hmm. the thing. It's just one of those things where I just have no idea how long we can get it to actually leak. Yeah, we'll just, we'll so see. the question is, is it, you know, is it possible to just section out just the drain area mm -hmm. of that floor and repair yeah. it versus taking out the whole floor versus yeah that's what that's what what i'll see you know i don't want to open up more than i have to open up sure because you know you had you told me on the phone that you know money's a little tight right now and yeah. you want to do non-existent yeah real yeah. estate is an interesting world right now that's what i do on real estate agent. real estate yeah so yeah, a few drips just started coming down. See so where's it tracking from? It's coming down to the bottom of the... Uh, so it's coming off the bottom of the P-trap. 
Oh, no, so it's coming off. Oh, you can see it right there. Yeah, you see it coming yeah, right off. there. Yeah, so it's dripping right there off of the edge of the flange. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think we got a bad connection. Yeah. Probably between, it's probably between that curdy membrane and, and the yeah, flange the of the drain. The drain. It's probably, so he probably tried to make curdy function exactly. like a pan right. liner or a hot mop. Right. And that's not that's the not way over. they're supposed to. You need yeah. a bonding flange drain, so. So we could back this connection off the back side, right? Or would you suggest he's no, tried, just bolted. tried to do it bolted? It's bolted with a flange on the top. Right, but it's bolted and the bolts are going in down, going Correct. from the top down. Correct. So if we unbolted it, mm -hmm. wouldn't it come out, come down? In this part, well, there's a joist in the way too. I know the joist is that's the, that's, the, <laughs> that's the part that entirely sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so I no, think we, I, and, so just stick with it and well, just tie to it. Whatever we have to do yeah. is gonna have we're gonna have to remove tile from the top anyways. Well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but at least we're not gonna have to go to the edges. We can. We'll see. We'll hopefully we'll see how we tie it down. Out, so. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go turn the water off, and okay. we'll go up there, and we'll we'll take a little. Because I know Schluter has, I know the that was the the Cur Curdy, um, they have a, you know that patching in, you know set tape that they use or whatever that is. Have you seen that at all? Uh, it's just yeah, it's just Curdy membrane. It's Curdy membrane, yeah, yeah. the tie-in, yeah. So. All right, so yeah, um, now that we know it's leaking around the drain, I'll just, I'll try to take off maybe like this much sure. tile and get that out of there. And then... Um, and I'm not sure that he sheeted, he didn't pull them out individually. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think they're sheeted. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't really matter, it's gonna no. cut out the same, so. Yeah, we'll, I'll just kind of have to chisel Chip it out, chisel it out and kind of like surgery, just go down try to get out as much as we need to and then go from there. Awesome. Okay. Appreciate it, man. All right, Bruce, we'll get going on it. And as soon as I kind of get it opened up, I'll bring you back in and kind of show you what's going on. All right, just give me a ring. Okay, all right. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna start by popping a few of these pebbles, get around it, and I might grab the jackhammer and just kind of chip away everything. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Actually, I think I'm going to start with the chipping hammer. Why not? No sense in making it harder than it needs to be. Alright, Zach, what I'd like to do since uh, we might be just doing a, a patch or a repair, I want to save all these little pebbles. So maybe we can grab a little container or something and I'll just put the pebbles in there instead of throwing them away. There's your lunch bag. <laughs> it's from Harbor Freight. Alright, so I've taken the pebbles out. Uh, I'm not seeing any like mortar bed or anything. It's kind of weird. I'm not seeing a float. Um, can we vacuum this out a little bit, Zach? But it seems like the thin set is really thick. Like I've gone down maybe like half inch right here. There's a little hole. See this, Zach? I made a little hole with the demo hammer and that's probably a good half inch thick. And I'm not seeing any deck mud yet, which is weird. So I need to go a little bit further. Let me chip out a little bit more. Yeah, here's that, here's that swelling on the curb. He was talking about his door um, touching. Let me see here. So I think, you know, water's getting in here and swelling up this curb and it caused this crack on the front, this big crack right here. 
Looks like somebody already tried to patch it a few times, but But that happens when the two by fours in the curb get wet, they just start to swell. Everything swells up and starts to fail. That's why I don't like using wood curbs. You know, they're not supposed to get wet, but they seem to get wet and uh, that wouldn't be happening. Let's take out a little more here. This is wild, man. This is still all, that's all thin set. That's not deck mud. It's not dry pack. It's like the installer just used deck mud. Or I mean, just used thin set. Why is there another mesh in here? There's a little tile under here. It's like I've, I found another mesh. Where'd that go? Yeah, down, down here, you know, a good inch and a half below the surface, I found some Looks like mosaic mesh and a little mosaic tile. So I don't know if they did tile on under, I don't know if they tried to do like some kind of tile on tile thing. But yeah, this little mosaic tile was down there. And, and this much thin set, look, that's a good half inch of thin set mortar. This is really weird. All right. Yeah, man, there's another one of those mosaic tiles. Tile. And there's there's more thin set. That's how much thin set's under there. Oh yeah, I think it's tile on tile. <laughs> I'm seeing a whole seeing a tile floor under here. Let's see if I can get some of this out without. Man, always some crazy stuff going on with these showers. Always like something different. It's like surprising. I could, I would have never thought that there was going to be a mosaic shower pan under this. Is this tile? I don't know. Yeah, I would have never thought there'd be a mosaic, existing mosaic tile pan, and then like three quarters inch of thin set built up, and then pebbles. So, yeah, weird. So, what we need to figure out is get this train out and see how that's all tied in. I'm going to I'm going to break a little more out here. So yeah, here's here's that layer of mosaic tile. And the strange thing to me is this mosaic doesn't even look like it was installed well. It almost looks like it was installed <sighs> I don't know, as like a temporary thing or something. Because it's just installed really badly and there's pieces that are kind of missing and broken and it just pops right up. Like I could just take, see, they're loose. This layer of tiles is loose. So I can just pop this little layer of mosaics up and then get down to another layer. Really, really weird. I should be able to un 
untwist this this drain here. Get a little more thin set out. So it looks like they're, we're getting down to a layer of deck mud underneath the old mosaic tile. So, so far it looks like it was deck mud, a layer of mosaic tile. And I mean, this is an old mosaic. This is probably maybe original from the house. Didn't you say the house was built in the 50s? It was all lath and plaster house. By the look of these old porcelains, it's that's probably the original from the 50s and then I mean this is a new drain this is looks like an heavy drain and that was somehow installed in here um, and now but now I'm down to the deck mud so let me get a little bit of deck mud on top of that out of there so this piece of deck mud has something black on the bottom of it so I don't know if that's a hot mop or if that's just like mold and nasty stuff but it looks like I'm getting down to the bottom of the deck mud layer keep going here <laughs> there's another floor under there no you gotta be kidding me there is literally no waterproofing I'm looking straight down into the downstairs from here. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Looking straight down stairs, there's a big hole. So the waterproofing is non existent. Um, whoever did this tile work. And again, it's fairly decent tile work, you know? It doesn't look like a hack job. I mean, a little bit funky with the pebbles on the outside and stuff. That's kind of kind of weird. Um, but nice tight joints. It's flush. It feels, feels pretty flat. The cuts look good. But they just did tile on top of old tile from the 50s, which had no waterproofing under it. It was probably leaking before he did you know, the redo, and, you know, there's literally no waterproofing. When I got down to the deck mud, I was like, oh, I'm gonna find, you know, a hot mop or a lead pan or rubber liner, you know, you name it. There's all sorts of different things that act like a PVC liner. So there's really no point in, really no point in trying to figure anything else out. I mean, there's our answer, zero waterproofing. It's not tied in at the drain. I mean, it probably took about, what, five minutes for when we turned the water on for it to get down through the grout and actually start draining. But basically the only thing that was keeping, uh, you know, water from pouring out initially was the tile and grout. And we all know the tile and grout is not the waterproofing layer. So as soon as that got saturated from the shower, it just started dripping. So yeah, zero waterproofing, absolutely none. Unfortunately, there's no way to, to repair this except for like a one row repair, curb, everything. So, you know, I feel pretty bad for the owner. He's in a pretty tough financial situation right now with the real estate market being so down he's a real estate agent and he told me the figures that he's he's been down this year and I don't want to you know disclose his financial information you know but it's down a lot and it's kind of like the worst case scenario you know that they can't there's no no way to repair this again he had told me it was a Schluter shower they might have done some Schluter on the walls or something, but there's no Schluter in here. You know, I think maybe the original, I think maybe the installer who did this kind of 
might have uh, misrepresented what he was doing in the shower and just tiled over everything. Again, so much thin set built up. We got like three quarters of an inch. So I'll try to go through the uh, layers, kind of like sedimentary rock, like a archeologist would do, you know, like digging through the layers of what we got, because <laughs> it's layers on layers. So I'll try to clean this up a little bit so I can explain it a little bit better. And, and then I could also explain to uh, Bruce what's going on. So I'll keep cleaning up a little bit here. All right, so <laughs> I found another little thing. I was just gonna twist the, uh, the heavy drain body out of there because yeah, they, they usually have uh, pipe threads and they just screw into the body, but this is just the old cast iron drain tank top. And I think they just took this plastic body and tried to glue it into the cast iron. Cause I can't, well, yeah, I broke it coming out. So what he did is he took the threaded body. So this is a threaded body. It's got threads on it and you just screw it in to the bottom flange of the drain, but he never removed the original cast iron drain. So this is the top of the old cast iron drain right here. And then what he did is he just used, looks like ABS glue. Let me see if I can get some of this out. so it's not threaded it's just it's just stuck in there oh yeah it is there's the threads so you see the threads so this went I'm crying on it but so that's what the drain body looks like it's threaded and what he did this is designed to thread into the bottom flange of the drain. And it looks like what he did is he just took the old cast iron drain that was existing and glued, put a ton of ABS glue and just set this in here so that it was sitting on top of the old drain. So he never switched out the old drain. He just used the cast iron drain from 1959 stuck some ABS glue and put the drain top on there. Is that, can I, let me back you up. What we got here is starting from the top down, we got our pebbles, then we got a, a thick layer of thin set, and then we have the original tile mosaic from the 1950s. And this was at the same le level as the old original cast iron drain here. So this was the original drain top. <clears throat> then the installer took the new plastic threaded drain and just shoved it in there and put glue in there. So that's how it was stuck into this cast iron pipe or cast iron drain top. Uh, the cast iron drain top is bolted down to the bottom flange of the drain that we can see from down below. And the only waterproofing, I said there was zero waterproofing, but I was wrong. They did use waterproofing and the original uh, tar paper that they used as waterproofing <clears throat> at one point extended into the drain here and the, the top portion of the drain, because we can't get it out because these bolts are rusted on from 1950. But there's three bolts here this top comes off and you got the bottom flange and this tar paper would have ran all the way into the hole and then they would take the top flange. They might've had some kind of caulking or sealant, put it down and then bolted 
the top flange down to clamp the waterproofing layer in between the top flange of the drain and the bottom flange. Uh, so yeah, we do have a thin layer of waterproofing. Let's see if I can get it out. But that was the black stuff that was stuck to the bottom of that deck mud that I showed. So here's the roofing felt, real thin layer, and over time it just it gets brittle and cracks. And so I also think probably what happened when they put that ABS P trap in that we saw, you know, I said, well, we got cast iron coming from the drain, then they cut it off, put a fern coat coupler, then a new ABS trap and then tied back into the old cast iron. I'm sure when they were sawzalling that cast iron off, you know, the vibration probably just broke loose any of that tar paper that was creating the waterproof layer. And I'll bet more than anything, that's what caused the leak. Uh, because the tar paper isn't, you know, it's so old that it's just brittle. You know, it basically has lost all of its uh, pliable, pliableness, is that a word? Ability to be pliable. Uh, I'm going to have to break the news to Bruce that this is a, a complete redo. I wouldn't do a repair on it. I wouldn't. Couldn't, couldn't guarantee this thing if I tried to do a repair, so uh, we'll go get Bruce and give him the bad news. So what do we got? So is it a Schluter at all or is it just a regular shower pan? No sign. So no sign of Schluter. Awesome, that's fine. No sign of Schluter, no, no waterproofing. Uh, what they did was just tile over the old tile. Really? Yeah, you see that mosaic tile right there? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure why they did that. And then on top of that, the new drain that they put in. So this uh -huh. is this is the this is the drain. These are meant to thread in. See, they have they have right. this, this thread on them. They're meant to thread into an adapter. Right. And instead, he just took the old cast iron drain uh -huh. and put it in ES glue and dropped it right in. Awesome. So, yeah, pretty pretty hokey. Absolutely. Um, kind of kind of handyman, kind of bad handyman style installation here. Tile so, guy. Tile guy. <laughs> tile guy plumbing. Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you mix tile guys and plumbing. And <laughs> they don't mix. It doesn't work out. Um, Interesting. So yeah, so. There was no waterproofing at all, except for the original tar paper, which is down on down the bottom on the there. Bottom, yeah. And it's so brittle, you know, that's from the 50s. That's the original tile work yeah. from, from the 50s. And so that, that roofing felt just gets so brittle over time. And I think what happened was, is when they sawed off the cast iron to put that ABS right. uh, trap in with the Fernco, it probably vibrated that tar paper broke it away from the, the cast iron flange there. Gotcha. Yeah, the new tile work was just kind of a band-aid put over it. Yeah, so, so there's, we there's... actually got him all the slitter stuff and he just went right over the top of it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. That's terrible, man. So, yeah, so basically I, I wouldn't trust any of the work in this shower. And I mean, because it, Anyways, you know, the waterproofing has to wrap up the wall. Anyway, exactly. And there's no waterproofing there. So this is pretty much a complete redo. For the whole shower? Yeah. Awesome. I mean, you might be able to save some of it, but you know, you got some stuff that, that looks like it's, you know, not doing well. Usually when we see work like this, Bruce, there's crap going on in the whole shower. Gotcha. It's not done right. And, uh, so that would be my suggestion for what you need to do. Yeah, okay. So just do, do a tear out and go to square one. Yep. So yeah, I hate yeah. to be the bearer of bad news. And I know you've been going through a lot of stuff financially. And yeah, got a little bit going on.
so yeah, it's been a little bit, a uh, little bit rough, and you kind of shifted gears in life altogether. You know, so my wife is uh, got can ended up getting cancer about a year ago, and it went from a stage one to stage four, not so pretty adventure. We got doctors in New York and and naturopathic, you know, basically a dietary change and and uh, yeah, it's just. It's not like I got an option. Well, this really pisses us off because this guy's actually, <laughs> this is a guy that, that, that we referred a lot of work to, <laughs> so, which concerns me. And, but, and you gave him the products to do yeah, it properly. Yeah, he had everything to do it, right. And he just skipped he it. Just skipped, skipped it. it. That's incredible. That is really, I'm going to show this to my wife. That's just going to, yeah. She's, well, well, Bruce, um, I'll be in touch with you. Let, yeah. me, let me see what we can do. Yeah. Um, I'll be in touch. Let me see what I can do. Um, sometimes, you know, people want to pitch in and stuff and help. Well, I can go in. I can download the shower. It's not like it's something yeah. that, I could, that that couldn't happen. Mm -hmm. So I could take it down. So if I download it, take it down to the uh, take it down, down to studs. The wood, down to studs, and then um, go back to square one. So once I take it to studs, what do you what type of system do you think I want to use to go? I mean, there's a lot of good systems. Uh, we use you know we use a bonded system. You know we've been using Tile Ready. Uh, we've been using sure. Flow Effect stuff. We've been using. You could do a pan liner and mud if you wanted. I mean, there's there's all different. Once you get down to that, um, we can we can advise yes. you on what to do. Yeah, I did a like in my my diesel pusher. I actually have a that I ended up doing a tile tile ready pan. I really oh, yeah. I, I like that system a lot. Yeah. With the with the disappearing with the disappearing drain. Drain, yeah. yeah. It's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> tile ready is I mean it's it's a foolproof it's the most foolproof installation that I've seen. I mean that I've the systems that I've worked with, the tile ready pan is really good. Um, so So I mean and that's no, probably I, what I, I do I go to a pan system at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. versus Versus trying, trying to piece, it or, yeah, they call them uh, call them puzzle piece systems. You know, even the Schluter. You know, you got a pan, you got wall board, you marry them up with band. Some of the systems you seal it there, but they have so many failure points at that floor and wall connection. Uh, that's what's nice about the tile ready. It's got walls going up. So, if tile ready is listening, maybe they want to donate to another project <laughs> here. <laughs> we'll yeah. See. Um, Adventure for sure. All right, Bruce. Okay. Well, oh, you've, been, hey. you've been a good sport. I'm glad you no let, us, just... let us film this. You know, for I'm... educational stuff, people learn from the failures and what not to do and what to look out for. You know, which begs the question, you know, was there tile over tile? Was there tile over tile on the walls? Because it's like, how do you seal that? No, yeah, there's no. Seal. Except, I mean, that's literally the only way you could have done it was just yeah. tile over tile. I think, yeah, I think probably what he did is he just tiled over the existing everything, didn't use any I've never even, I, I've never even imagined that would be a possibility. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah, crazy. That is incredible. Yeah. Just incredible. So watch your installers, people out there, just, just so you know, and um, hopefully these videos help. But yeah. All right, Bruce, well, All thanks right. again. You've been a good sport. I'll, I'll, I'll be reaching back out to you. Appreciate it, man. All right, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming out. You're welcome. Okay.